And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Riven. Uh, got another donation deck to try these two together. We're going to be putting them in a shell that's going to be very similar to Ash Sejuani, the mid-range Frostbite deck that we've played so much and had so much success with. But we're going to be trying out Riven in this shell. Riven's just going to give us a nice efficient attacker on turn 3, being the 3-4. Um, and then, of course, we'll be able to get the different blade fragments um, from Reforging and try to get that Blade of the Exile. And that Blade of the Exile with the Overwhelm Quick Attack, plus 2, plus 0, especially the Overwhelm and the plus 2, plus 0, can be really nice with some of these cards. You know, giving Overwhelm to Ash or Averroes and Hearthguard or Enraged Yeti. You know, like we're going to have some bigger units that are going to be attacking, and so Overwhelm can really work well with all of those. Um, these days, you got to have Scorched Earth, right? You got to have, got to be able to destroy the Grand Plaza. So we got a couple of Scorched Earths in here, um, but then it's it's you know pretty much the same. We just got one Reckoning because Reckoning uh, because you know we had to find room for Scorched Earth, and also Reckoning doesn't work the best with Riven all the time. Um, the other thing, though, Riven with the the plus two plus zero that this uh, Blade Fragment can be nice of like pumping up something to five power so it doesn't die to reckoning or so you get to draw an additional card with the trifarian assessor so that that can definitely be nice and one captain farron to help finish games out so let's give it a try we're gonna go play our five games in ranked and let's see how we do with ash riven Ooh. i have not played against spooky anivia in a long time yeah, so they're going to have, you know, like your Ruinations and a whole bunch of removal and all that kind of stuff. One health unit, not really where I want to be. Culling Strike can kill Anivia, but I think I still mulligan it. Yeah, I think we need, we want our bigger threats. Like, we want our things that size well, right? Like Omenhawk, there we go. Omenhawk, Riven, Averroes and Hearthguard, Trifarian Assessor, um, Averroes and Trapper, all that kind of stuff. I'm glad I didn't play Trifarian Glory Seeker first. Good. Good Avros and Trapper draw. Um, I guess it's better to play Riven, though, so we can reforge at the beginning, like whenever we gain the attack token. Onto the blade fragment. Okay, good. Not. I was worried about uh, Grass the Undying. All right, that would have just killed the Ash. So I'd only draw one card with Assessor right now. Ruination's a card. You gotta believe me. Ready the torches. Could be doing the plus two plus zero and then assessor, but we're only drawing two cards in that scenario. Fight the signal fire. Just rough casting Coaling Strike on that thing. I bring the storm. No, I don't think Monastery and Trapper is a combination that you really want to play. Stand and 
defend. Um, where you keep on bouncing Trapper over and over again, because all you're doing is just putting one mana five fives on on top of your of your deck, but you're not going to be drawing other cards. Like you, if you would do that combination, you would need to be able to draw a lot of other cards. So, because you need to be able to draw into your deck, because you're not going to draw like eventually just drawing a one mana five five every turn. Like that's, you know, like in the late game, when you don't have other stuff, you just draw one mana five five. That's not really what you are, what you're going to want to draw. Yep, no surprise there. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. We got to fill our hand back up. Joke debate. Not sure exactly what my plan is, but I just didn't feel like just only attacking them for six was good enough. Something ancient stirs. I need just a moment. I'll cut them apart. I grew weak. You're mine. Well, it turned out I only did four damage to them, but I got to kill this other Anivia. Captain Farron's good. Zombie and Nivea is always so good. Hmm, it's not a good draw. A wickedness reaches the horizon. It's gonna allow them to open attack with all these Nivea's. Don't think we can possibly win this. Tomorrow we rise in you. GG's. Double double harrowing. Good games. Ice. That deck's pretty good. Yeah, Trapper would have gave us like the harsh winds to be able to frostbite three things against other stuff. Other stuff besides harrowing. Harrowing we couldn't beat anyway. Two harrowings. Good job, GG's. Forgive me, Avarosa. 
All right, Burn Deck. Burn Deck has always given Ash Sejuani trouble, like Midrange Frostbite. This has been a, a weaker matchup for um, our deck. So, don't like to see that. But we're playing against... It's kind of weird that we're playing against... Um, we're playing against a couple of decks that don't see that much play right now, but they're the decks that are traditionally very good against the, the mid-range deck. The the super control and the super aggro. Like, that's that's where our Frostbite deck has struggled, um, just in general. And I haven't played against these two decks in a long time, but we just only get paired against them right now. I guess that's just how it is. Don't forget the predictions up for those of y'all that want to um, wager your channel points. Is he here yet? Oh man. Hey, kiddo. Very glad they played the Draven first. Allow this brittle steel to do its job. No, no, they had flame chompers. Oh no. no. And then it did not do its job. Faster than my arrow? I think not. And if it helps. <laughs> Swiftly now. Gotta rock with your name on it. Uh, idiots. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. It can't be. Okay, frostbite that thing. And just do like three damage to it. I will brittle steal. I guess this makes more sense to block like that. And we take three. I don't think it makes sense to attack with the 3-1 Trapper, which I, I guess... Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, it's fine. We can attack with the 3-1 Trapper. Because then if they want to block other stuff, they got to start blocking with, like, Daring Poros. Because, yeah, I definitely assumed the Spider was going to block Ash, right? Like, that was, that was a pretty fair assumption. And... Um, I can protect Ash with Culling Strike. But I don't think I'm in that position. I think we need to get rid of this um, crowd favorite that's usually seven, a power overwhelm. Um, so, yeah, like. Yeah. Continue without me. Okay, cool. Morning tea time. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Um, thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll change that. I'll, I'll copy that tech list. Okay, or I can just copy it from here. Draven time. That makes that easy. It's Draven time. I draw two cards with Assessor right now. The War Mother will unite us all. God asses need victims. We can do Whirling Death or something. Why would the Draven attack? What is your plan? Now we're cooking. Oh, 
Well, I do not want a Decimate to kill me. So we're gonna go ahead and Soul Chant. Let's keep one of their things from blocking. You know, if I would've just got right to attacks, I could, you know, go block, block, and I'm only doing eight damage, it's not lethal. Time for the main event. Now this is lethal, because they only have, they have two blockers. And so now this is lethal. So it should be one and one, unless they are going to, uh, you know, get excited. My five three. I guess that's true. They just do that and block. Why would they not get excited? The five three. If they just saved one life. They could be at three instead of at four, but then my five three could be dead. And and they would still have their two one alive. But we know they're drawing Draven. Because the Draven's biggest fan. Only the finest serve. Our banner will lead the way. Now begins a new era of peace. GG's, one and one. There we go, Lee Sin Zoe. This is a new deck. Now, this must be getting really popular. This is the third time we've played against Lee Sin Zoe today. Um, I mean, I want to keep Hearthguard because Hearthguard is just awesome, but it is kind of slow. Uh, Harsh Winds is great against Lee Sin, so maybe I just keep a Harsh Winds in my back pocket. Like these two cards are both awesome. I like both these cards a whole lot, but it's a five mana card and a six mana card. Should I really keep a 5-mana card and a 6-mana card? I don't know. I'll keep the 6-mana card. Yeah, that's true. The, the, the triple Draven's biggest fan honestly hurt my opponent of just having them continually draw Dravens because my I had a very good hand against Draven, and they had to just keep drawing a Draven. A true Fragorian welcome. And so that did mess them up. Arrows at the ready. Don't want to cooling strike that. Want to save cooling strike. There is some tension here with Riven and Trapper. Because you want to play Trapper as early as possible to get the Enraged Yeti as early as possible, but then you also want to play Riven to Reforge as well. So there is, there's some tension. I went with, I went with Riven again to, you know, like Reforge, but if we could have got like the Quick Attack Reforge, then I would have been able to go like Glory Seeker Quick Attack. I was thinking that could be pretty nice. They can kill my Ash with a few cards, you know, they could use like a Hush on their own Mountain Goat if they want. Okay, no. All right, that's good. The spirit gives to those who listen. Into the forest. Patience. I'll take that. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. They can't gem the Lee Sin, because if they gem the Lee Sin, then I frostbite the Lee Sin with Ash. For the lost. I'm through waiting. Averosans, stand together. You're mine. Pretty nice though, give them brittle steel. Your lesson begins. 
And Brittle Steel, my 5 1. Oh, Brittle Steel Ash. Okay, well, that just gives him the barrier, that's why. Okay. This is risky against, you know, Pale Cascade. I could wait a turn and have Harsh Winds plus Culling Strike instead. I think it's worth it, though, because if they had Pale Cascade, I would, I would kind of imagine they would have just cast the Pale Cascade right here to kill the Ash. I imagine they would have done that. No, you get you get all. Th so if you if you use if you use a prismatic on a copy, you get all three cards. Prismatic. You don't have to use like three prismatics on three Eye of the Dragons. You use prismatic on Eye of the Dragons, and then all of your Eye of the Dragons are prismatic. My lands, center your spirit. It's not leveled up yet, right? Where are they at? Six. really have to harsh winds that could simply troll can save harsh winds for later because that's gonna be a pretty important card if I cast the assessor right now we draw one card but if I wait a turn we should be able to draw two because it should be enraged yeti on top I believe I guess draw three, because I can blade fragment the ribbon. Mystical levitation requires con No turning back now. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Alright, I like that calling strike. That was just a good Trifarian assessor for us. Even if I calling strike here, oh, I guess they don't no, they don't have the daybreak turned on anyway, so they wouldn't Yeah, they don't have daybreak turned on. My aim is true. I guess they're planning on Hosh Lee Sin. Maybe I should have gone Culling Strike first. sense to do this right now instead of giving them more opportunities to draw spells that stop this. What is the they have to open attack because of the crystal arrow. And so we have to harsh winds. puts the ash back in my hand. Breathe in, breathe out. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Conflict is all in the, the main question is do I play anything else before Crystal Arrow? Let's see, so Crystal Arrow takes up two mana. If I want these, it's another four, maybe. So if I play Babbling Beer, I gotta have three additional mana after Crystal Arrow, so I'd have like Blade Fragment, Blade Fragment. You know, I wouldn't be playing any sword or anything. Probably don't need that much mana. Let's play Hearth Guard. Yeah, so they could 
Nopify or deny. Absolutely. Yeah, they could have another Nopify or deny. Be easy for them to stay alive. I guess that's start. They can stay alive now. So I guess that maybe means I die. The dragon binds us. Yeah, it looks like I die. They have more burst spells to start the turn. I need to draw another harsh winds. Okay, so I have two options. Trifarian Assessor and Babbling Bjerg. Babbling Bjerg, I have to draw Ash. And it's not It's not like a great chance that I draw Ash with Babbling Bjerg. Rex, I have other Hearth Guards, Assessors, and Ash. I guess it's a pretty decent chance. Let's see. Two. Oh, because then I have the fi all the 5-1 Challengers also. It's not a great chance. But then if, if I play Assessor, though, I get to draw three cards. But what are my outs with drawing Assessor? Either Ash or Flash Freeze. And that's it. Because then I won't have the mana for Harsh Winds anymore. So it's probably a better chance that I draw... Because it's just the one extra flash free. So it's probably a better chance that I... Oh, we draw four cards. So four random cards. Or the one. But the one is targeted. Hmm. Right Captain Farron also. My hands are your spirit. Too bad. Because Assessor, so Assessor, we draw all of our cards and we can only draw two, you know, like, so out of the 24 cards, two Ash and one Flash Freeze. Did they already kill an Ash though? No, they didn't. So it's two Ash and one Flash Freeze. So three, three of our cards out of everything, but we drew four. But the Babbling Bjerg was two of the cards, you know, instead of three, you're only looking at two with the two Ash. But then we're only drawing, instead of drawing all of our cards, we only draw out of, so two out of the two Ash, two Glory Seeker, one Assessor, two Hearth Guard, and a Captain Farron, so eight. So we had a, we had a one in four chance of drawing Ash, two out of eight, by going with the Babbling Bjerg. Or so it's one out of four. I guess. I guess. Hmm. So I guess the assessor may have been better because in the assessor we're drawing three out of twenty-four, which is one out of eight, which is worse. But yeah, four. So we would have had four chances at one out of eight, which I guess would have improved. One out of eight would have been a little bit better. Those other ones, or the one out of four. Okay, another big deck. Another one where Frostbite cards are awesome against. We'll see if we can get things to match up this time. I am going to keep my hand. Get a moment, Hawk. We're playing some classics today, though, right, with this? We played against, you know, Sp Spooky Anivia... The zombie Anivia, and now this Feel the Rush Trundle Trindamir. And then also before 
We also played against the discard burn. Played against like one of the new decks and three of the old. Good Vile Feast. With us having the attack token, I've played the Trapper over the Riven. Nice card. Averosans, stand together. If it was Trundle they would have played, I would have had, you know, attack, culling, strike, kill Trundle. Nice to meet you. This doesn't play around like Withering Whale and all those kind of cards, but I'm, you know, I'm playing around Ruination, I guess, by attacking. need to necessarily play into Ruination. We're at one out of five. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Still have Ruination. anymore the past is a burden we must learn to bear I don't want them blocking with the Everson sentry um overwhelm let's see we'll give you overwhelm you quick attack. Because I think that they'll probably I don't know, they'll probably use a spell that kills Ash. Alright, they can still they still get to block. Right. Ash isn't leveled up. That was a really bad frostbite on my card part. I don't know why I was thinking Ash was leveled up. Oh no. That was a bad bad frostbite. Because now I don't have that frostbite to protect me from if they survive with removal spells and everything, then I cannot protect myself from feel the rush over there yeah that was that was just a bad flash I don't know it just in my mind ash was leveled up okay they just had feel the rush and that kind of stuff the war is over now we rebuild Okay, Fiora. So against Fiora, we want Frostbite. Frostbite. Keeping Glory Seeker, because Glory Seeker is a good challenger on either Fiora or Zoe. We'll use it as a removal spell. And I'll just keep Riven, it's our three mana champion. Especially how we do not have the attack token on. We don't have the attack token on turn three, so we can play Riven and then gain it immediately. Sparkle fly. 
if they would have gone Fiora here, then I would have been interested in like Ice Bill Archer, Cooling Strike kind of thing. Save Ice Hill Archer for, for Culling Strike. That worked out. Yeah, I'd have to say that worked out really well. Zoe's, Zoe's anno voice is annoying. Just gotta have fun with it. Not and ready. I don't want them to go invoke the uh, Equinox on my Glory Seeker. Or I guess even like the stun card. I want it. Yeah. So I'm gonna play this first, so they don't they don't know about the Glory Seeker. But I have I have two options here. I have Glory Seeker and Culling Strike in case Glory Seeker doesn't work. Whoa! Oh my gosh, y'all, get some hype in the chat. Fishy's gifting out some subs. Thank you so much, Fishies. We are gonna have 10 new subscribers. I'll cut them up, face me. My arrow won't miss. Violence to end violence. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. Thank you, fishies. So who we got? We got War Bandit, GG, Sai Goomba, Fast Dragon, Suke, Sentenced, Battle Right Best Game, El Greco, Vapor Bear, and Talon Talon. All join joining the sub club. Merry Christmas, fishies. Thank you. Oh, Kordak was above the, the other one. Sorry, Kordak. <laughs> and Kordak. To answer for. Uh, also, sorry, opponent. I will pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some bonus stream today. I think I, think I can do a little bit of bonus stream today. I'm only doing the three decks because I do have, I do have like chores and stuff I gotta run here with it being the, the 24th. But I think I, we can play a couple extra games. So yeah, we'll do bonus stream today. I do still owe y'all one bonus stream even from before from from um, sub goals from the last couple of days. So I still owe y'all one bonus stream. No, I don't think I take four. Because this next turn I'm going to be playing the Captain Farron. So I don't really think I need that. Whoa, we got a new VIP! Gogon! Why did I say Gogon? <laughs> go, go, New Jersey Devils. So it is Devil. <laughs> go, go, New Jersey Devils. Redeeming the VIP. Alright, let me uh, give you the VIP. Alright, you got the VIP badge? 
And I'm gonna write you down. So that's a nine seven. Wait, what happened? Oh no. Well then. No turning back now. For glory. You're mine. Well, I guess I'll do that. Leaping into action. Sure, you can you can trade. That was a big sparkle fly. That was one big sparkle fly. And that's all I got. Three and two. At last, a way forward. Okay, so Ash Riven, we did some pretty good work. Went three and two. You know, we lost to the uh Anivia deck with the double harrowing, right? Like the sec like we were still fine, and but then the second harrowing got us. That's not something that you, you should expect to play against that often in this metagame. But I think the newer metagame decks, and I did lo lose against the Lee Sin deck, and, and maybe I could have done different stuff there, because Lee Sin usually you, you do pretty good against with Frostbite spells, but I guess I don't actually have that many Frostbite spells with having to play the Scorched Earths. But Frostbite does seem really good in this metagame. Like, Frostbite and Hush, because this metagame seems to be all about buffing up different units, you know, right? Like whether it's Lee Sin or Fiora and these Sparkle Flies, like those things are kind of everywhere. Um, these Targon decks that are buffing stuff up um, or like big challengers with Grand Plaza and big units and stuff. I think Frostbite's just a, in a pretty good spot. Riven did some good work for us that those games, right? Like playing that Riven and just getting those different Blade Fragments, they were definitely useful, especially the plus two, plus zero, but then also like the Overwhelm and the Quick Attack at different times. So Riven was pretty useful in there and, and I, I think our deck worked just fine um was riven better than sejuani would be uh, I, I don't know it was nice having riven come down early right riven before like your ash and bjerg and hearth guard and all that kind of stuff but there was some tension between uh riven and trapper of you know like both cards you want to play on turn three and so there was definitely some uh tension there if you had it both of them I do really like Sejuani. Sejuani is really good, but I could see even if you want to play this like the more traditional version with Ash and Sejuani, I could definitely see. Usually, you just play two Sejuani, so I could definitely see playing a Riven, um, you know, as the sixth champion uh, for sure in that version as well. And yeah, so that's that's kind of what I was doing. Is is if we were attacking, I was playing Trapper to attack. If we didn't have the attack token, play Riven so that we could reforge right away. Um, but yeah, the, the Scorch Earths just weren't good, right? I wish the Scorch Earths were more, more Frostbite spells, you know, like another Flash Freeze, another Harsh Winds, that kind of stuff. I, I wanted more Flash Freeze, more Harsh Winds, but again, we didn't play against any Grand Plaza decks. So, you know, you kind of need the Scorch Earths in here right now because of the prevalence of the Grand Plaza decks. But if something happens to Grand Plaza, then the Scorch Earth could be Flash Freeze and Harsh Winds. And if something does happen to Grand Plaza like it gets nerfed and that's the case, then Frostbite could be exactly where you want to be in the metagame. It does seem like a very powerful effect. All right, but that's Ash Riven. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and uh, anything else, like any other ways you've been playing Riven, let me know over there in Twitch, or sorry, over on YouTube. Let me know, like how, how have you been playing Riven or just um, other, uh, other decks you want to see on YouTube. Like, what else do you want me to build and play? Give me those deck ideas. I know I like to try to play everything. So what have we not played that you want to see? Give me those deck ideas over on YouTube, and I'll try to make it happen. All right, but that's it here for Ash Riven. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.